you'd like to code along with this demonstration, check out the GitHub link in the description of the video. If you click on that link, it'll take you to the GitHub site where you can uh, download the code that you need to follow along with this. Also, the README will give you some setup instructions. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at how to build our own custom form control. You can see here in our app component HTML file, we actually have a form um, that's a contact form that has a collection for email and phone, um, but we also want to collect the person's name. Now we could create individual input fields, one for the first name, one for the last name, but what we're going to do instead is create an actual custom component that we can then treat as an actual form control. And so this form control will be um, connected into our contact form through the use of this form control name, just like we did for email and phone, except this time we're going to call this full name as the field that we'll be binding to. So inside of app name component, it will know how to connect into this contact form to basically provide it the first and last name concatted together. So let's take a look at how to make this happen. So over here we have our name input component. If we open up our name input component HTML file, we'll see we have our first name and our last name fields. So within the actual form control, we will in fact be using reactive forms to collect the data. But then as the user interacts with the two input fields, we'll be firing off events for handling the input as well as handling the blur operations that are necessary for it to work correctly with reactive forms. So what we're going to do now is come into the name input and we're going to wire all this up. Now up here at the top, I've already done our imports to save us a little bit of typing. I've also already wired up the first name and last name um, inputs and set them to be form controls. So let's go ahead and wire this up to have it be its own custom control. The first thing we need to do is we need to connect this into a multi-service called the ng value accessor service. This is actually what allows the form control to be able to work with the overall form system in Angular. So to do that, we're simply going to add a provider section. There we go. And then here within our providers, we're going to configure this. We're going to say provide ng value accessor. This is going to be a multi-service. We're going to be adding our service to a collection of services. So we'll go ahead and say true there. Now we need to specify what we want to use as the service. We're going to say use existing. And we're going to use the forward ref. And now we're going to basically reference and return back our name input component, which refers to our actual component down here. So now with this, we've now connected it into the ng value accessor multi-service. Our next step is we now need to set up our component to implement the control value accessor interface. So here's our control value accessor interface. We'll grab that and just kind of put that on there like that. And so now we need to come into here and actually wire up all of the, um, all of the methods to match the signature of the control value accessor. So the first thing we're actually going to do here is we're going to need to wire up our on change and on touched functions. This is what allows uh, the, the actual reactive forms to know when we've, when we've actually touched the, um, the actual control and when we've actually changed the control. Because remember, from the perspective of reactive forms, it's viewing this whole component as the control. It's not really looking at the individual input fields within it. We have to wire all of that together. So we're going to say private on change and we're going to make this of type name string void and then we'll say private on touched and we'll just say void so that'll take care of our typings for that so let's come on down here now and implement the various functions so the first thing that we're going to need to do is actually wire up our do input and our do blur events so we'll do these down here at the bottom so do input and then we'll come into here and we're going to say this dot on change this dot first name input dot value and this is actually going to be doing our concatting operation here so this dot last name input dot value there we go we'll also now handle our blur so we'll say do blur and then for this, we're going to say this dot on touched. So take a look. So what we've done is we've wired up the on change and the on touched into the actual input fields here. 
So when a person comes in and actually does the input and blur events on these fields, it'll actually notify the on change and the on touched for our overall um, form control, our, our overall name input form control. Now our next step is we need to wire up a few functions that are going to be expected by a control value accessor. The first function we're going to take a look at is the write value. This is the actual function that gets called when reactive forms writes a value to our particular control. So we'll say write value object any void. Now we're going to come into here and we're going to say const first name last name. So when it gets written, the full name is what's going to be written. So we're going to do this just in a very simple way. We're going to just take the actual value here and convert it to a string. And then we're going to split it on a space. Now, of course, as you could imagine, just simply splitting a sp splitting on a space could cause all types of problems. But our goal here is not to analyze names per se, but to show us how to build an actual custom form control. So now that I've got that, now I need to take that first and last name value and actually update the inputs. So we'll say this.firstname.input set value, and we'll pass in our first name. Then we'll say this.lastname.input.set value. And then we'll say last name. So this is how we write a value to our custom control. So our next step is we need to register our on change and on touched functions. So what's going to happen is, is the actual reactive forms module is going to pass those functions to us so that we can invoke them so that they will then interact with the actual reactive form that's making use of the control. So we'll say register on change function any. All right, and we'll be explicit here. And then we're going to come into here and say this dot on change is equal to function. That's how we capture the reference. We'll do the same thing for the on touched. There we go. And we'll say equal to function. So now we've got our on change and our on touched. The last one we need to do now is actually set up the disabled state. So if the reactive form goes to disable our control, we need to do something about that, which in our case will just be disabling the individual inputs. So we'll do our set disabled state. And of course, that's optional. You may not need to define that. Is disabled. And we'll say Boolean void. Great. So now we're going to say if is disabled else. And then we'll come into here and we're going to do this dot first name input dot disable this dot last name input dot disable. And then of course for this one, if it's not disabled, then we're going to say this dot first name input dot enable. And then this dot last name input dot enable. There we go. So now we've got our first name and last name inputs enabling and disabling. So now that we have our custom form control wired up, let's go ahead and run the application. So we're going to say npm start. We'll give this a second to compile here. Now that it's compiled, let's go ahead and open the uh, link here in our web browser. I'm going to open up our console tools so we can actually see the output of clicking the submit button. We'll type in Bob Smith, Bob at some domain.io, 123, 123, 1234. So go ahead and click on submit and check it out. There's the actual full name for Bob Smith collected off of our custom form control. Very powerful way to collect a lot of information and tie it into your reactive form. Um, we did it here with just a string, but you could be populating an object or any number of other different things uh, to, with, to, uh, to be able to populate your reactive form from this custom control.